Hi there, and welcome to another episode of Heart to Heart series. Today, we will talk about stress and a woman's heart. My name is Deetra Dennis, and I'm the founder of Full Circle Health Coaching, LLC, and I'm your heart health coach with a passion to empower Black women to live at their optimal heart health through utilizing lifestyle interventions that are evidence-based and culturally relevant. So here at Heart to Heart series, it's our girl talk um, over a glass of red wine. And you know, our red wine over here is hibiscus tea because hibiscus has the heart health benefits, right? Um, to relax the blood vessels, ultimately lowering your blood pressure. So go ahead and subscribe to the YouTube channel, set your notification bell so you're alerted when I upload a video, share it with a sister who you feel could benefit from the information that we share over here. And I love for this to be truly a girl talk. It can be our virtual girl talk, um, not just me sharing information, but I really would love you to comment below on, you know, uh, information that I share, how it resonates with you. So comment below. So now let's go ahead, if you will, go ahead and pour up your um, glass of wine and cheers to you. I'm sorry. Cheers to you. And let's chat it up. So let's get back to the topic at hand. The topic is stress and a woman's body. Now, I'm going to be looking down because I have quite a few notes that I want to share with you. Um, and this is going to be a two-part series. So today, we're going to talk about defining stress and then how our bodies react to the stress, okay? And so, um, and I'll get into a little bit later what we'll talk about next week. Um, and I do have my coaching hat on again, so I have um, some homework for you, uh, like I did from the last session from last week when we talked about living our health like it's golden, right? So here we go. So what I wanted to start off again with defining stress. And so stress, according to the National Center of Complementary and Integrative Health, defines stress as a physical and emotional reaction that people experience as they encounter changes in their life. Now, this is normal. I mean, life happens and we may have stressors and each of us respond and react to stress differently. Um, and so, you know, again, when I get to the coaching questions for you today, and you'll be able to determine, you know, how you respond to different stressors in your life. So again, everyone um, feels and reacts to stress in different ways. So there are two types of stress. You have acute and you have chronic. So when you think of acute, it's a reaction to an immediate stressor and it's usually short lived. So think about, you know, if you have a project that you're working on that has a timeline, you know, a deadline, um, studying for an exam, preparing for a wedding or planning a wedding, um, planning um, to move, if you're planning to purchase a home, all of those things, you know, are stressors, but it's short lived. It's, it has a deadline, it's going to end. Okay. So that is fine. We all encounter um, an acute stress throughout our day and throughout our lives. And then the chronic one. So listen at this this occurs when the stressors continue over time and or when the body stress response does not resolve over time. And another word for chronic stress is distress. And what happens when that chronic stress over time, you know, your body is not having an opportunity to relax, is constantly in that state of fight or flight, then your body it has inflammation that ends up resulting in health conditions. So here I'm going to share some facts with you um, is that, and this was from, um, I think this was from American Heart Association. It says, whether acute or chronic, your body reacts to stressors with your heart, increasing, at, increasing your heart rate and blood vessels narrowing. And there are other signs, um, and I'll talk about those a little bit later as well. But the problem occurs, again, when over the long term that your body stays in this fight or flight um, response, it research shows that stress can likely lead to heart disease and a heart attack. 
Now, this one in particular, I know was from American Heart Association and it revealed, it was a study and it revealed that women who reported high levels of work related stress were 38% more likely to have a cardiovascular event than coworkers with low levels of stress. Okay. So think about that with work and we'll get into next week. What can we do to help with um, tips to reduce the stress in our life or how we cope with stress um, next week. But this week is just, you know, highlighting what stress is. And then we're going to get into our assignments, but just think about that 38% who have high levels of work related stress. So it, we really need to do some things about that so that, you know, we can change those numbers. Now, this one is the one that stands out to me because I know when I talked about um, uh, the episode of doing the most and not listening, this, when I, when I talked about the strong Black woman or the Black superwoman syndrome, this, listen at this one real good, so lean in. So this, as I shared in that video, Dr. Cheryl Woods Giscombe um, did a study on the behaviors of, of the strong black woman or the black superwoman syndrome. And there were um, five particular behaviors, but this is something that stood out from that study. And it reported that um, how we as black women experience and cope with stress might be one of the reasons that black women have disproportionately high rates of adverse health conditions, including high blood pressure and car, um, cardiovascular disease. There were others like lupus was listed as well, cancers. Um, but of course, because we talk about heart health over here, just think about that, how we cope with stress or um, how we've seen, it, it could be how we've seen our mother or grandmothers um, or, or women in our family, how they dealt with stress. And we feel like, oh, you know, sometimes it's subconscious that we deal with stress the same way that they may have dealt with stress, you know, not um, showing emotion and only showing strength. You know, all of those things have an impact on our body. And sometimes it's not always positive. Okay, so just wanted you to know that part as well. And so one of the things that I really, really like that a part of one of my courses is called Being Your Best Self, and it's an at your pace online course. What I really like about the course is that, you know, there are many layers to um, reducing stress in your life. And one of, well, two of the lifestyle, because there are quite a few assignments that go with, but uh, one of the lifestyle um, homework assignment is to, um, we look at really identifying the cause and effect of stress. And then the other part, and this is like in just maybe the first lesson, this is the first lesson, really creating a plan of how to cope with stress, you know, creating a new plan because the plan sometimes that we have right now really isn't working for us, especially according to the studies that we have here, you know, from what Dr. Giscombe, Woods Giscombe did about strong black women, um, as well as the 38% with the high um, levels of stress related to work. So we really want to make sure that we, create some strategies to overcome that. And again, have a new um, outcome, I would say. So here is my coach hat on, or I need my whistle so I can blow and say coaching. But anyway, here are three things that over the next week, I would love for you to take some time with. Number one is how would you rate your level of stress on a scale of one to 10? One being little to no stress, and 10, a great deal of stress. Now, studies have shown that three is kind of like the average for everyone. But many people, when they did this study, like pe many people reported four to nine, I'm um, sorry, 4.9 as a, their stress level. But really, where are you on that scale? Number one, rating your level of stress. Number two, begin paying attention to the signals your body sends you during a stressful moment. 
Um, it could be, as it mentioned earlier, an increased heart rate. It could be your nausea, um, nauseated. Um, it could be um, having a dry mouth, having stomach pain, having sadness. Could be um, compulsive eating. Um, I know many people, you know, talk about emotional eating, and I, and I too am that. I know for me, when I have not had enough sleep. I tend to go towards food, but that is, you know, and I have to pause. And again, we'll talk about next week, things that we can do to overcome, um, you know, these stressors and our responses, our signals, and then how we respond to it. And then lastly, I would love for you to document those signals. And then what did you do to reduce the stress response? So number one, rate your level of stress a scale of one to 10, one being little to no stress, 10 being great, a great deal of stress. So that's one, rating your, your level of stress. And then number two, begin paying attention to the signals that your body sends you um, when you're in a stressful situation. And then document that because we're going to, again, next week, we're really going to get into reviewing tips to reduce the stress and how to see stress differently. Um, and, you know, I really want us to go deeper in that, you know, I like to keep it short and sweet over here because I could have gone ahead and, and went over that, but I want to keep it brief but impactful, you know, the things that I share with you here. So again, we're at the end of our time together and I have, uh, thank you for tuning in. I really do appreciate you for tuning in and for our time together today. So be sure to go ahead and subscribe set your notification bell, share with someone else, put your uh, comments below so we can have dialogue. And, you know, if you want to um, connect with me, you're welcome to um, go over to Facebook at Full Circle Health Coaching LLC and get social with me over there. Um, if you would like to subscribe to my newsletter, you can go over to Full Circle Health Coaching LLC. And I do have that information in the description below. And, you know, I always like to leave you with this. Remember that you are the full circle and within you is the power to create, nurture, and transform. So until next week, tap into your power.